This is a unique time in the history of the Christian missionary movement. Never before in 2,000 years of history have so many people of so many different races and languages and cultures communicated the gospel to the Puntata ethne, people of every racial and language group. And the church is growing rapidly in many parts of the world, especially in Asia, Africa, Latin America. It's also a unique period of history in the relationship with Islam. The paradox is that we see growing terrorism by some Muslims, and we see the recent attack in Paris and in Lebanon and elsewhere in Mali. But at the same time, the other side of the paradox is that more Muslims are becoming followers of Jesus today than ever before in history. Probably we've seen more Muslims come to faith in Jesus in the last 20 years than in the previous 13 centuries. So what does that mean for us? We also see growing massive immigration from Muslim countries to Europe, Western Europe especially. Immigration because they're fleeing from violence or looking for better economic opportunity. Now this whole situation creates a unique opportunity as well as challenge for the Church of Jesus Christ. So one of the great uh, challenges that the Holy Spirit is placing in front of the Church today, especially the Church in Europe, is how will we respond to our friends who come from a Muslim background? Will we respond with friendship, respect, love, and ultimately in that context share the gospel, or will we respond with indifference or even hostility? This is a great test for the church today in Europe and in the United States, as well as other parts of the world. Now the Madrid Conference will be a great opportunity for believers in Jesus Christ, serious followers of Jesus, to ming to hear from those who are already engaged with Muslims, with productive means of witness. Perhaps some Muslim background believers will be there to share. It's a unique opportunity for Christians in Europe who want to take seriously the mandate of Jesus Christ to reach out with love to our Muslim friend. It's a unique opportunity to learn and share and become better equipped to respond to the Holy Spirit in this challenge. So come and learn and then return to your ministries with this renewed hope and confidence.